Maribel, Lauren, good morning. Right now, everything is quiet here at the Holocaust Memorial, but last night, hundreds of people were out here saying that they would not be silent about acts of hate. In a vigil here, they remembered the lives of the 11 people lost in Pittsburgh. The crowd was made up of people from all different faiths and backgrounds, and they stood out here united in a hope for change, rallying together to say they do not want to see these tragedies happen ever again. People are fed up with this plague of hateful violence in our nation. The fact that we live in a moment when even the New York Times publishes a column called This Week in Hate. Many of the organizers here say one of their goals was simply to just start a conversation about hate and anti-Semitism, not just here in South Florida, but eventually around the world. Live in Miami Beach, Carly Barnett, CBS4 this morning. Carly, Miami Beach with more on the tribute's message. Carly, good morning. Lauren Maribel, good morning. Everything quiet out here right now, but last night hundreds of people came together for a vigil here at the Holocaust Memorial and all of these people were of different faiths. They had different backgrounds, but they were united with their heavy hearts and with their desire to see change. We shall it was so far away yet so close to home, remembering the Pittsburgh 11. The South Florida Jewish community rallied, bolstered by members of multiple faiths, to send a message. They are not going to put up with anti-Semitism and hate. At this moment, we're no longer many families, but one family together, God's family. The temper of the times is never far from discourse, says longtime pillar of the local Jewish community, Norman Brayman. People are fed up with this plague of hateful violence in our nation. The fact that we live in a moment when even the New York Times publishes a column called This Week in Hate. And for this crowd, it's an old story that's way too old. They've seen it before. We suffered crusades, inquisition, pogroms and holocaust. We were shoved into cattle cars, walked into gas chambers, and were ethnically cleansed by extermination and final solutions. It really broke my heart seeing what happened to the synagogue. Organizers of the vigil from early on wanted to send a message both locally and nationally. You, you never know until you look back in history what, it, what the turning point was. And I'm sure that for the Jews in pre-war Europe, they, they didn't know what was going on, when it was going on, but there was total clarity looking back. And we're, we're not just going to be, be victims of history. Uh, if we see evil, we're going to confront it. The speakers and the organizers of the, this event say the goal is really to just start up a conversation, start that conversation about anti-Semitism or hate of any kind, and they hope those conversations may eventually make a difference, not just here in South Florida, but all around the world. Live in Miami Beach, Carly Barnett, CBS4 This Morning.